I was coming over here to get this box to use out here in my beds, and I see this little fella up here, and I'd set these up here yesterday to get them off the ground because I needed to take them inside, and got a little buddy in there. I don't know what kind of frog that is. He's little bitty. And there's my finger. But I'm going to go put him by the swap pond because I think that's where he needs to be. Not up here on, on the patio. I don't know if I want to put him over here by the swamp pond in the honeysuckle where the chickens might find him or if I want to put him in a garden bed. But I don't know if it's moist enough all the time in the, in the garden beds. I don't know what to do. I put him over here on the honeysuckle tree next to the swamp pond because he's been up there a couple days. He's probably dehydrated. Bless his little heart. He's a little bitty thing. A wee tree frog. Tootie patootie. Go eat the mosquitoes. Okay, so here's what I'm working on today. Finally decided where to put my last two round beds. I had a dilemma about putting them here in line with these and doing it equal by putting one there, but then I'd have an extra one, so I just put them both down here. And I've already cut out the poly beneath them, and now I'm going to load the bottom up with some cardboard. Then we'll go move on to the sticks. I'm trying to make sure I keep this phone oriented right. It drives me nuts. Uh, but I've got the cardboard stuck down, and I walked on it and smushed it down the best I could, and now I'll start getting the last of the piles of sticks that I have around here and start loading it up the bottom and try to do it as deep and thick as I can and then spray them down and then hopefully tomorrow I'll get to mixing the last of the the mix down there in my little blue pool and get these filled a little steps at a time will get us there did y'all go be chickens and quit following me around I'm going to show the flowers in the swamp garden. It used to be a goldfish pond, but now it just collects leaves and mud muck. But they still bloom. And that's the pile of sticks I'm working on. I had two or three piles along the fence, and this is the last one. And what I'm doing is breaking them down and loading them in my, my cart and then wheeling them over there to fill those beds. Long process, a little bit, a little bit at a time. And that's the two beds filled about halfway with sticks. I kind of played Tetris and tried to work as many as I could down into the nooks and cranny. And then hopefully this evening we'll get out here and mix the rest of the stuff up and get these beds filled. And that's the plan. We'll just see where the energy levels are here in a few hours. Well, well, you can see that, but I'm watching to see if the littles go up on their own tonight. It looks like they're all, they've met a traffic jam. As Buff Orpington life would say, chicken traffic jam. But it looks like they're going up on their own. I did three nights with the lamp in there. And then tonight I didn't put it out there. And I believe they were all in there till I walked outside. But I'm going to go over here and plant a couple of marigolds in my green stalk and see if they don't all go in there. That's progress. I'm zoomed in as I'm zoomed in as far as, as I can do it on my phone, but I don't know if you can see up there. It's just some baby squirrels. One of them has brought the babies to see him. There's Charlie. He was a baby last year. But I saw Rocky out here earlier, so it might be Rocky's babies. Or Tippy Tails. I'm not sure. I hadn't seen Rocky or Tippy Tail in a little bit. So that might be them. Alright, so what I've done here is I've mixed up my mix here. I've got one bag of the peat two bags of compost, three bags of potting soil, and two bags of 
perlite and I put it in this big pool and I'm just stirring and mixing and stirring and mixing and stirring and mixing and then I'll start filling the beds here using a five gallon bucket but that's the progress I've made today this 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 is the part that wears me out but we'll get it done my goal is to get them both filled tonight all right so I've got the two beds filled this one has a little bit more than that one so I may I'm still gonna have to mix up a third batch I think because I've got a couple of other pots I want to put on the ends of these beds of the long beds like that green one and uh, top that one off and then I've got another uh, bed over by the house that Karen built over the weekend for me that I'll get filled but I'm gonna I've already watered everything tonight and I've watered these beds in real good and soaked them real good I'll do it again tomorrow within here in a couple days I'll come back and plant plant some more beds probably squash and zucchini maybe something else we shall see hope y'all are having a good day Hoping y'all can hear me. I don't have the mic hooked up because the battery's dead in it. And I'm coming out here and I'm gonna plant some spaghetti squash, sunflowers in the middle, some zucchini, and I'm gonna try this squash because it says it's a vertical growing squash and I'll put some tomato cages around it and see if we can't grow it vertically. Uh, and then some yellow patty pan squash. But I'm going to plant that between the two beds. I'm going to do the spaghetti squash on the edges so it can trellis out that way. And I'm probably going to put some more of this black poly going to the fence there. And probably going to move it up to the fence that direction too. After we get that lawn cut down real short. And just kind of fill in that whole area with the poly. And then if you have any suggestions of what I can do with that blue swimming pool now. I have some ideas. That maybe a aquaponic type or a hydroponic type system. What what should I grow in there? Y'all give me some ideas. It's hard to see, but I've got the, some of the Chinese noodle beans are popping up. Here's what the lettuce bed is looking like. It's, it's looking really good. Yeah, it's looking really pretty. And then. All of these over here have popped up. These are the cucumbers that have popped up. Or do I mean those dragon egg ones are, are still kind of lagging? Uh, but I'll just leave a couple of these other ones on if those don't pop up. And here's where some of the radish are starting to pop up. And then rutabagas and turnips. I'll do a full video update here in a few days of how of the progress of everything. But y'all have a good day. I saw my first cabbage moth flitting around out here earlier, and I've been watching because I know this is about the time they pop up, and I've not seen any eggs, but I'm still going to go through here and spray real good with BT and just see if we can't help prevent them from taking over my cabbage and broccoli and all my brassicas up here.